Better put yeah, some respect like, on it. We can't reuse none of this, fam. You done. You done. <laughs> I didn't even know. You know they I rolled deep. This shit. I just thought y'all niggas was warming up. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got time. Hey, listen, I don't want no problems, bro. <laughs> don't want no problems. Hey, I told you we was recording like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Whenever we was ready to go. I and it's a red ass go. light right there. I missed that light, though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, days off, nigga, that you can see. <laughs> With that roll. I need them on in the club, bro. And a and a knit cap, fam. No, no wonder you hot. Like you got know, <laughs> a plush robe and a bean. I was saying, you know, I my you know what? Let's start the show because <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what to say about Tim right now. Jeff is here. T-I-M-K-I-N-Z, the number three, a.k.a. Ass Catch'em, a.k.a. Mr. Give It To Me. Jeff is here. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Eric J. Only known as? The Eric J. And I'm Camille Poingard of the crew, the real life Tifa Lockhart, the girl next door. You know, holding it down for all the women who love sports. And it's your boy, K. Harris, the gentleman. The gentleman. The everyday gentleman. 24-7. Um, but better known as K Diddy. Take that, take that. Young Jabroni and hey. <laughs> start raising the roof. Tell. Hey, great. <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible dance in retrospect, man. People were really out here raising the roof. Like <laughs> uh, over here. I mean, listen, <laughs> over here. Bankhead Bounce at least had a little bit more like to it. Like niggas <laughs> literally. Just right there. Like, <laughs> Raising the roof don't take no. Hey, I used to fuck with that. Like you just sitting there, just leaning back and shit. Like you know. Listen, I'm gonna just say, raising the roof is a lazy dance. Raise the roof. Top five next <laughs> week. Like, the dances now are like uh fucking sign language. Like our <laughs> sign languages. <laughs> like, I, yeah. Like TikTok, I mean, like that'd be intricate to the motherfucker. I'm like. They do. They do. I don't know if they gonna know how to dance in the club when they get older. They gonna be trying to do TikToks. Hey, they gonna be lit in there. This song gonna come on, nigga. Everybody gonna do the fifteen step. (laughs) (laughs) Corey over that song, dog. They go. Some DJ goes scratch and mix all of them shits together. They gonna be dancing their ass off in that club. (laughs) All the viral dances at the same time because they about thirty steps now. Each TikTok getting longer and longer with these damn challenges. Man. I heard that banging is coming. We'll, we'll get back into the show. I heard banging is coming back. That oh, more, you know. I ain't never know left. So banging was a Milwaukee dance, you know, that nigga bang, and it would just be mm-hmm. like, like banging. Oh, yeah, Tim used to shit. bang. Yeah, Tim, Tim bang. <laughs> but <laughs> apparently, <laughs> she bang. She bang. <laughs> but look at like, look it up. It was a dance. Like if, when you see it, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, that was just everybody in high school at dances. Like, <laughs> but. It's coming back apparently. Look that up. I was pretty, pretty happy. They just happy. pop locking all on TikTok. That's all they be doing. So oh, the Dougie. <laughs> anyway, like, like, no, seriously, like, no, they, I believe you. I believe like, you. Bro, are you serious? I'm gonna get on TikTok. <laughs> and percolate. I'm gonna have a whole percolating page. No, <laughs> Spice Adam gonna hop on that bitch. <laughs> hey, oh, every video I'm percolating that bitch. Nick, tell. Wait, no, that you, <laughs> Tell people our social medias, please. Sure. You can find us at www.technicalfile.com. Don't forget to put the K on that motherfucker. Damn right. You can also find us on the Instagram and the Twitter at Technical File. Mm-hmm. You can also find us on Facebook, Technical File Podcast, which is our Facebook page. You can all mosey on over to Technical File Pod Overtime, which is our Facebook group. You can join in with the listeners, fans, and the fam. Also, last but not least, do not forget... We are on the YouTube at Technical File. Indeed. I do slide in like that, though. <laughs> <laughs> it was smooth, bro. It was it. <clears throat> Trying to let him live. 
Uh, Ken? Uh, Ken? Uh, this no, is your part. No, 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 um, but like I said every week, man, if you guys enjoy being a part of this amazing Tech File fam, um, share with everybody you know, your mama, your daddy, your uncle, your granny, your auntie, everybody, everybody you know, share. Share um, to the champ, too. Yeah, share, share. <laughs> hey, where your belt at, champ? Put oh, me out here oh. repping, dog. Oh, I'm having my son bring it to me. We'll be out here. Hey, but shout out to um uh to Basic Real Radio podcast. They had me on the pod uh record this week, so I think it dropped tomorrow. So I appreciate y'all. It was dope. What's the name? Check it out. Basic World News. I mean Basic World Radio Podcast. There we go. Basic World Radio Radio Podcast. Okay. We're gonna post that yeah. on our socials. We're gonna post that so yeah. Make sure y'all go check that out. You guys yeah, shout out. You said what, Eric? So you got a challenge? Um, I do not. I don't want. It's a personal one though. Uh, so I low key got called fat by my daddy <laughs> over the weekend. <laughs> he was like, like, oh, you you can kind of have me, ain't you? I'm like, oh. And then he pulled out the scale, like maybe get well, they make me get on, but ask me to get on. <laughs> damn. <laughs> so yeah, one. Damn. Check fam. I need uh your favorite exercises, workout routines. I need some butterfly uh, kicks. Well, I mean, put it at, at the podcast and let me know. Okay, there you go. I'll tell you some things I do around the crib. Yeah, for the first time in my life, I'm up above two bills. So, woo! Yeah, damn, damn. Hey. Barely, still. You're also what six six one? Six even. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the yams dude now? <laughs> That's what you sound like. <laughs> no, that should be hilarious, bro. He be out here with the dams, dude. Yeah, I caught on. I caught on. <clears throat> Anywho, Eric, continue on, please, sir. Hold on. I said I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's your part, too, though. Oh. Uh, wherever you find podcasts, you can find us. That includes Apple Podcasts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Google Podcasts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't even do that every time. Uh, Stitcher. Mm-hmm. Sound pl- SoundCloud. SoundCloud, okay. Spotify. Spotify. Amazon Music. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Where the fuck that come from? <laughs> like, I got it. Amazon <laughs> Forest, and, you know, monkeys. I get that. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Jeez. Just, Shout out to the man. <laughs> he told you to do that. <laughs> oh. He said, you know, <laughs> oh, he said, he said, you want me? He said, you know, it would be hilarious if you did like, like, animal sounds and shit. I was like, like, Morris Day and shit. I'm like, I'm gonna get my Morris Day on. He's like, yeah, like, oh, oh, ah, ah. Like, I thought of Cole from Martin and shit. I, I was like, like, I thought of Martin, you know I thought what? of Cole. Yeah. I was like, no, I get my Morris Day on this shit, so, you know, I fuck with it. I like it. That's funny. We'll see if that it's... sticks next week. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see the fan response to that. <laughs> uh, what is that? I heard radio? My window wide open, too. My neighbor's probably like, what the fuck is going on upstairs? <laughs> I'm sure it's not the first time. Uh, <laughs> nah. It's probably every day. MLA. Like a player. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Wooshka. Wooshka. Yeah, we got two lonely chairs now. <laughs> uh, and wherever you're listening to this episode now, while there, make sure that you like, subscribe, rate, and review. Five stars are better. It helps us and we appreciate it. For sure. We haven't had a review in a long, long time. If you get a moment, if you could, pretty please give us a review on uh, Apple Podcasts. It's been a while. Let's, let's get some new reviews in here. It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you. Hey, yo, yo. What I do, beat is the deep. You, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back to the music <clears throat> later. Right now, we're going to shout out the top listening cities from the past week. The interesting top 10 this week, fellas. Number one, 
I might not pronounce this correctly. So correct me if, if you know how to say this city properly. Orem, Utah? O R E M, Orem, Utah? Orem. Welcome, Orem. Orem, number one. That's okay. Utah. Number one. Number one. What? For real? For real, for real. All right. Welcome. So, Orem is a city in Utah County, Utah, in the northern part of the state. It is adjacent to Provo, Linden, and Vineyard, and is approximately 45 miles south of Salt Lake City. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, welcome. Y'all come back. Number two, Somerville, South Carolina. Somerville. Damn it. Now I got to look this up, too. (laughs) (laughs) And number three was the hometown, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Number three, Orm and Somerville. (laughs) Had y'all beat on time. <laughs> Don't even get no side effects for no number three. We got to turn okay, that up. It's a town in the U.S. state of South Carolina, situated mostly in Dorchester County, with small portions in Berkeley and Charleston County. How you in three different counties in the same town? <laughs> That's a big town, man. You everywhere. Actually, you look like it's a very, like, uh, what's it called? Gerrymandered town. Like, they town limits are just like an uh, etch-a-sketch. <laughs> <laughs> We everywhere, baby. Uh, right. Somebody just drew their foot in the sand, literally, and like, this is where we at. They had their kids. We everywhere. <laughs> Number four, we have Chicago, Illinois. Shut uh, town. Number five, we got Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. And the fall. Thank y'all. Always coming back. Would you be my Number six, we have Boiling Brook, Illinois. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Boiling Brook, okay. Number seven. Boiling Brook. We- Yep. The village of Boiling Brook is a southwest suburb of Chicago in Will and DuPage counties in the U.S. state of Illinois. As of 2010 census, the population is 73,366, is the 17th largest incorporated place in Illinois and the state's second largest village. Back thank to you, you Lindsay. Yeah. Well, thank you, Eric. <laughs> Hey, I mean, I'm saying like, when we get new places on the list, you know, you got to shout them out. So, yeah, hey, let you know, learn about your place. Folks, you come back here. I hear you. Number come seven. We got seven. Indianapolis, Indiana. What's up? What's going on, Indy? 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 No, I'm, I'm What's going on, Indy? Wait, I think we played them next, don't we? Uh, not this yep. week, I don't believe, is it? By we, you mean the Green Bay Packers? Yes, I do. I think it is. Yeah, I think that's I the next game. Oh, no, we played Jacksonville this week. Too. You're right. It's in two weeks. Because they uh-huh. just got plexed. So they don't. Oh, yeah. It is. It's a 425. I thought they just changed the time. Okay. Number eight, we got Copper's Cove, Texas. Corpus? To what? what up, Texas? Oh, what? What is it? Copper's Cove. Oh. I know y'all here every week, God damn it. Well, <laughs> you the one here to repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> Number Dude. nine, Racine, Wisconsin. The race Hello, Ned. Number 10, we got Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte. North Carolina. (laughs) International listeners over the past week included Belgium. Belgium, welcome back. Spain. Trusty old Spain. And Puerto Rico. Oh, shit. Okay. What's up? What's going on? Naval? See, I think, I think Puerto Rico heard us last week when we said D.C. should, well, what I said D.C. should be a state, and then we said let's throw Puerto Rico on in there, too. Y'all mm-hmm. shouldn't be international listeners, man. Y'all should be in the country, man. I'm with y'all. We all in this together. I got y'all back. 52 states. Anywho, let's get into the topics of the week. All right, so we are over the halfway point of the NFL season. So instead of starting with the pick 'em, I wanted to start with a look at the standings, look at the playoff races, you know, see what 14, maybe 16 teams are going to make it to the playoffs and, you know, talk about some surprises and disappointments so far. So let's start with the Wait, AFC. Oh, go ahead. You said what? The 16 team? Oh, yeah, we talked about that last week. Yeah, they approved it today that they would expand the playoffs to 16 teams if any regular season games are canceled, the number of regular season games are canceled. Any meaningful games. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so, we'll see, that. <clears throat> we'll see how they define meaningful. 
AFC East, the Buffalo Bills are number one, seven and two. The Miami Dolphins at two, five and three. The New England Patriots three and five, and the New York Jets zero oh and nine. Boy, them boys, man, them boys can't, man, listen. The Flacco trash. <laughs> He's been trash for quite some time now. For quite some time. Damn. Just watching yesterday, I was like, yo, that's why you on the Jets beat. Like, you trash. A backup you a on back- the Jets. Jets bro. You a backup on the Jets. Oh, you trash. You wrote that Super Bowl wasn't because of you, brother. <clears throat> That's why everybody was kind of tripping when he got that big ass contract. Everybody was like, what? He said, <laughs> <from the beginning. laughs> Who? <laughs> okay, what? Remember all the, the Joe Flacco with the leak conversations we had to go through mm-hmm. back then? Yeah. But mm-hmm. I'm not surprised that Buffalo's number one in this division. I saw that coming. Miami at two surprises me. I thought New England could be a little bit better with just Cam Magic. I thought he'd kind of be able to overcompensate for them receivers, but. Nope, that's not a thing that happened. So, Buffalo He scares Miami. me every time he throws the ball. Does he really? He does. Like, watching that game, like, especially, like, in the fourth, every time he let it go, I didn't know if he was throwing it to a player on his team or the ground. He had a great Because some of them too. passes, some of them passes, I was kind of looking. I mean, no, he had a good game. But, like, it was just kind of weird. It was weird. It was, it was like – so watching Aaron and he let it go, you're like, okay, if he sees somebody open, you know, this is probably gonna be a good pass. Watching Cam, it wasn't the same confidence, if that makes sense. No, I get it. I just it's interesting that you felt that way about him and that during a time when he was having a good game, is what I'm saying. Like mm-hmm. it wasn't like he was having a bad I get if he was having a bad game, but he was like eleven right. for eleven to start the game off or something crazy like that. He he had a really good stat line I thought he ended the game with, but do y'all think Buffalo yeah, was- Maintains this number one placement at the top of the AFC East. Yes. Miami chasing. <clears throat> Miami chasing. And their defense is a lot better than it was supposed to be. <laughs> but before the season started, I did say Miami could be a wild card to go into the uh, playoffs. Uh, yeah. I, you know what? I'm going to keep it. I'm going to roll with Miami. I think Buffalo still wins the division, but I think Miami can get into the playoffs as well, especially with that really expanded playoff field. As long as they keep doing what they're supposed to do, it'll be all right. AFC West, the 8-1 and one Kansas City Chiefs, the 5-3 and three Las Vegas Raiders, the 3-5 and five Denver Broncos, and the 2-6 and six Los Angeles Chargers. Again, said it last week, didn't really realize the Chargers are the Falcons. And they lost again in a way where it was like, y'all, this was supposed to be a dub, and y'all tricked this off. How do y'all keep doing this? But alas, here they are. <laughs> yeah. Didn't expect them to be last in, in the division at this point. Definitely expected the Chiefs to be first, though. I thought that the Chargers mm-hmm. would have a good shot at it. at least in the set, you know, number two. I thought they'd be like in the in a wild card run or something, but. I mean, I guess they're not too far out of it, though, but it ain't what I expected. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. You got to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all think uh, – I already know the answer. We all think the Chiefs are going to continue to be the number one seed in that division, correct? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. It's like easy money, big chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Do the Raiders stay at two? I yes. think so. I never try to figure something out. I think they'll probably end just under 500, but I think Vegas will, they'll hold that number two. Yeah. Because they still got to play Denver and Chargers again. <laughs> so for them, it's like, all right, let me go get those. But we'll see. I, I do think the, uh, Vegas holds on, though. AFC North, 8 and 0 Pittsburgh Steelers. The six and two Baltimore Ravens, the five and three Cleveland Browns, and the two five and one Cincinnati Bengals. Hmm. I'm not too shocked about. I'm surprised that Pittsburgh is undefeated, but not that they're first in the division. I could see that being plausible. Yeah, Pittsburgh's defense is great, bro. Like, cause Ben been looking. 
Hey. He hurt both his <laughs> both his knees this week. Man, dude would just be he picks and choose the receivers that he be leaving out. Like he'll have he had so many games with Ju, he ju, threw Juju the ball probably like four whole times in four games. <laughs> just like just wild up, like just completely leaving cats out because he's zero in on on some of these receivers. And yeah, that's cool, but it's only working it's only been it's been good enough so far, but I don't I mean, know. Wait, that byproduct of him just taking what the defense gives him. Like that's what I was gonna say. Sounds like he's just attacking the matchup. Mm-hmm. He could. He could. I mean, they ain't no, so he doing something. Like, right, that's what I'm saying. No, like, the I'm defense has been been freaking like, clowning, but and like that sounds like a nitpick from a fa- uh, fantasy owner more than. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't have him. <laughs> I don't have him or uh, what's the name? But it was just interesting because I've seen it. I've heard him. But um, I've watched some of their games because Sam was always a fan. So anytime Pittsburgh, but we get a chance to watch the Pittsburgh game, we see him. So I've seen like he's he's all right. He he ain't the driving force, but he all right. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the story of his career. Like when yeah. when Pittsburgh is good it's because they have a good defense and Ben does just enough. I mean, young Ben was cold. Like I'm not gonna discredit him there. Like yeah, not that big Ben had a big arm, bro. Like he yeah, playing that motherfucker. Like them first two Super Bowls, like. He was a pretty yeah, he was good quarterback. Was like, he was yeah. fun to watch. The first Super Bowl, because that was what, like his second season? Like, that he, that was Ron Bettis and Nate defense. I think that was his like, first year starting. He was looking game manager then. What did you say? Wasn't that his first year starting? Didn't go like 10 and 0, like his first couple of career starts, including the Super Bowl? I don't remember what. I know he was like super young. Like, it was either his first or his second year when they went to the Super Bowl the first time. And I remember, I distinctly remember, like, he was a game manager. Like, he. He was talented, but he was it wasn't because like he was just like airing the ball out. Like they had a great running game. Like I would say maybe like that Super Bowl, like with Santonio Holmes, like I think that might have been a year when he was actually like a top level quarterback. But like the years when he was like, you know, like throwing for four thousand plus yards and shit, like he had some crazy those receivers. years I feel like they weren't as strong. I mean, that's when he had like Mike Evans. I mean not Mike Evans, uh Mike Wallace and yeah, Antonio Brown and yeah, <laughs> like when they, they, when they trade receivers. too far past like the run pass, you know, split like when it was way too far heavily run. I mean, too far pass. pass. Like I feel like that's when they got into trouble. I mean, he's had a great coach. Yeah, and yeah. Like yeah. Fourteen straight seasons that they've had a non-losing record. Yep. That which is a record for most for the most times that happens to start a career. Yeah. So he's Tom, never had a losing season. Yeah, Tom, <laughs> no Tom Lynn is, <laughs> Tom Lynn's good. Hashtag black coach. And I think Baltimore. Uh, it's, it's not like they trash. <laughs> like they still a really, really, really good team. And both they lost this to Pittsburgh. Uh, Kansas City and Pittsburgh. The good teams. Uh-huh. But so you think Baltimore finishes one in the division? No, I think Baltimore finishes two. Two? Does anyone I don't say – Pittsburgh – does anybody think Pittsburgh does not finish one in this division? No, no. All right. Does Cleveland make the playoffs? As slated, they would with all these teams getting in. They're five and three. They got a real shot. I can see it. Like, I can see them actually going on a little run. They got a talented squad. It's <clears throat> I can see it. I can see them kind of sneaking in and giving somebody a headache with their defense. Let's see. And then Nick Chubb is coming back, too. So they actually have a really good running game. They got the Texans, the Eagles, the Jags, the Titans, the Ravens, the Giants, the Jets, the Steelers. Got a good chance. They got a chance. Nice run. (laughs) (laughs) That's a really good schedule. They got a chance. AFC South, you got the six and two Tennessee Titans, the five and three Indianapolis Colts, the two and six Houston Texans, and the one and seven Jacksonville Jaguars. Jacksonville won their first game and then just started losing, and they didn't stop. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> I think um, that the way that the conference is another, or not conference, the division is stacked now. I think that's how it finishes. I can see Indianapolis taking over, number one. I could, but I don't think they will. I'll roll with the Colts. The Colts? 
That's fair. NFC East. <laughs> no, well, you know what? Y'all don't deserve to get talked about. So I'm going to just skip it. Y'all. This shit is despicable. Y'all don't deserve to get talked about. That's gross. Boy, this is terrible. Like, looking at these damn... Boy, this is terrible. Good God. Duh. Everybody this still is... got a chance. <laughs> Wait, so... That's true. Just so y'all know, Philly's in first on a two-game winning streak at 3-4-1. and one. Three, four, one on a two-game winning streak. <laughs> and you went first. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, we're going to skip That's disgusting. And then behind you, we got Washington. <laughs> we don't, yeah, we don't. Mm-mm. No more of that. NFC West, we got the 6-2 and two Seattle Seahawks, <sighs> the 5-3 and three Arizona Cardinals, the 5-3 and three Los Angeles Rams, and the 4-5 and five San Francisco 49ers. <laughs> Just imagine one of the teams getting knocked out of playoffs because they got to take an NFC East team. It's a tough division of football. Yeah. And the 49ers I mean, are doing that despite the injuries. All right. Four and five. If motherfuckers stick around and be be able to slide into the playoffs and get some help, but man, it'd be gross. Uh, this is a tight ass division. Uh, I'm rolling with Russ and them, though. Russ, we trust. But I told y'all, Kyler Murray was going to be stepping up and trying to have his MVP type season this year. That motherfucker moving and grooving, dog. The Cardinals is nice. I hear you. I think I'll stick with Seattle, too. Although, they, they looked terrible last week. But. Yeah. They'll bounce back. They got smacked. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. Smack. I think Seattle's stable. <laughs> NFC South. Buffalo defense finally showed up. Yeah, I knew it was there. NFC South, six and two, New Orleans Saints. The six and three, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The three and six, Atlanta Falcons, and the three and six, Carolina Panthers. The way New Orleans beat the shit out of Tampa Bay on Monday. <laughs> I mean, what was that Thursday? It was Monday. Sunday. Was it was a Sunday, Sunday night? night. Sunday night. Sunday night. Yeah, that's Sunday right. night. It just was last yeah, night. Sunday night. Time zone around this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah it was that surprised me because it was like the role reversal from the purse meeting so it's like yeah this is gonna be a fight back and forth between them two for the rest of the season but i i roll with uh who that nation now they got michael thomas back nah. you said nah i said for now oh yeah <laughs> That's fair. Hopefully for the rest of the way. Yeah, I think the Saints will probably finish your first two. I'm not too surprised about how that conference is shaking out. No. Yeah. Outside of Atlanta. No, I mean, the way Atlanta has lost has been the weird part. The fact that they're losing does not surprise me, if that makes sense. Yeah. And Carolina has a – Carolina got a decent – especially when McCaffrey came back and he out again. But – that division isn't full of bad teams. Like Atlanta is, no, it's a like good you said, division. sticking around in the sun. Huh? It's a good division. Oh, yeah, it is. It, it really is. And it's, it's just interesting, those two wrecks. So I guess there is a surprise here because Atlanta and Carolina, the way the teams are and the way they play, you would be surprised if they're three and six. That's fair. Say lucky. They could, they could be. Because mm. they could easily flip for both of them. Especially Atlanta. I mean, Atlanta, <laughs> Atlanta has lost in some heartbreaking ways, but yeah. So that's just one Atlanta's been little... one play away for five L's. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to do a little check in there real quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the pick and pull picks. But since we talked about football, we are literally just going to say what team we think is going to win and keep it moving. So if you, are, if you are also in our pick and pull, make sure that you are getting your phone out to make those picks as well. So before we do those picks, shout out. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, we're not doing the NFC North. Oh, my bad. You're right. I forgot. I was saving that for last. That's a bell on me. The six and two Green Bay Packers. I said the six and two Green Bay Packers. 
Nobody worry about that shit. The, the five and four. Hit him with it, him with it again. The six <laughs> and two Green Bay Packers. The division right. leading Green Bay Packers. The All five right. and four Chicago for Bears. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I gave you all your, your credit. Five and four. Okay. Yeah. The, the three and five Minnesota Vikings and the three and five Detroit Lions. Now, y'all have lost three straight games. Mm-hmm. We're not we're not gonna lose this next one. Take that two games ago. We get, all right, yo, we gotta figure it out. That, yo, whatever you're doing right now, I know you if you listen to you is, if you ain't, you ain't, but nigga, you need to do something. Because right now, the office we running is not working. I understand that you got Nick Foles in. I understand this. I understand the reason why you got him because that's your boy. You supposed to be, you know, the quarterback guru for him and all this type of shit, but it ain't working, B. Our defense is too good to be wasted right now. So we gotta figure it out. I never thought that I'll be like get Mitch back in the game, but if we need to switch up and put Mitch in and like for real orchestrate an offense around him, then do it. Or you wanna fuck you Mitch back? Bro, I don't know, bro. Maybe you, I don't. Maybe him being on timeout for a little bit might, you know, put some fire on the team. Yeah, I should have traded for uh, famous James. Hey, damn Ooh. near, bro. I, mean, I know he's gonna <laughs> throw the ball. He ain't scared to throw the fucking ball. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. It's just frustrating because we should yeah. not be like the games that we we we've been losing. Dude, we should not be losing. And that's the first good ass games too. Exactly. And our defense is too good. Like, our defense for real is getting wasted right now because our offense, because our, because the plays, and because we never have a fucking legitimate quarterback. So we need to figure it out because it's very frustrating. Do you hmm. think that y'all make the playoffs this year? Yeah, we still going to make the playoffs. We're going to win nine games. You think nine going to do it? Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. I'm thinking I'll go do it. I don't know because I, I mean, the, eight, the division making. I mean, the conference making it like they got a shot. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, New Orleans and Tampa Bay are three wins away from nine. So is Seattle. So is Green Bay. Like y'all gotta get the nine before we do. Because I mean, it's already teams. You got, y'all on a three game losing streak, and niggas are still winning. <laughs> Why y'all losing? We just pulling away. Y'all got to. Nine ain't gonna I do mean, it, boss. Look at it this way: like <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, for
<laughs> Come you on, man. Picking them for real. You ain't picking them for real. <laughs> he just clicked Packers and then said, uh, "Right." Uh, <laughs> Eagles, Giants. On New York. So, I am too. Okay. Right. I'm going to go Eagles. Okay. I mean, understandably so, but. Buccaneers, Panthers. Black quarterback. Buccaneers. Buccaneers. Buccaroos. Tim, who did you say? Tampa. Washington, Tampa Washington, Detroit. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Detroit. I'm gonna go Washington. No, no, I'm gonna go Washington. Fuck Detroit. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm in a conundrum because it's it's never Washington, but they playing Matt Patricia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ain't picking. Hmm. <laughs> Alex Smith starting. Mm-hmm. I'm going mm-hmm. Detroit on that note. Bills and Cardinals. That quarterback be a good game. Yeah. yeah. Wait, who's home? Arizona. 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 I'm going uh, Buffalo. Uh, Sorry, yeah, I'm going yeah. Denver Broncos, Las Vegas Raiders. I'm going Raiders. Raiders. The Raiders. Chargers Dolphins. <laughs> Miami. Yeah, Miami. Got black coaches. Two of Brown. So uh Miami. Mm. I you know what the week I don't pick the Chargers is the one they gonna win, but I got I'm going Miami. But who's home for that one? Because I keep getting like cross country. Miami's home. Matchup. So it's West going East, yeah, mm-hmm. Miami. Bengals Steelers. Steelers. Yep. Pittsburgh. Well, no, Big Ben might not be playing. He's he's on the COVID list today. Yeah, yeah that is true. He yeah. should clear. If he clear, but he got into like Saturday oh, okay. clear. He has yeah, I'm gonna go Pittsburgh. You know what? I'm going with the Bengals. And Joe, you trust? I think okay. Joe gonna do it. Forty ers Forty ers and Saints. Knowledge. Yeah, what Saints? Same. Seahawks, Rams. Seahawks. The rest be dressed. Yeah. Uh, Aaron Donald will be on his ass. That's what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Aaron Donald finna sandwich them motherfuckers. Nah, he finna just tear them off. Dog, Russ finna be gone, bro. You say he run all day. That's he, he gonna be good. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with Seattle. Got Aaron Donald chasing him, though. I'm gonna stick with Seattle. <laughs> Baltimore Ravens, New England Patriots. Ravens. Oh, no. I'm sorry, I'm changing one. I'm going to the Rams. Okay. Yo, I'm going Mark. with the Ravens. Yeah. Baltimore. We'll be special if Cam can pull, pull that off, though. And then Monday Night Football, Vikings, Bears. It looks like the Vikings are actually the favorites Ooh. in this game. Dalvin Cook been cooking. Let's go, Bears. The Bears. I'm going to go Minnesota. Selfishly, I'm going Minnesota. Okay. Like lightning round question for y'all: Who's the MVP through half the season? Russell, my book. Russell Wilson. It'd be it'd be Aaron. Russell Wilson. Russell, my book. Yeah, Russell Wilson for me. Oh wait, it'd be Dalvin Cook. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. He just been man. He been cold. Though. This nigga here. MLB exactly. is announcing season award winners so far. And so far, they have named the manager of the year and the rookies of the year. Now, we won't know who the Cy Young winner is until the 11th. So, Wednesday, as y'all listen to this on day one, y'all know today, an MVP drops on Thursday. So, mm. first up, NL rookie of the year, Devin Williams from the Brewers. Shout out to that young man. Shout out to them. I didn't realize 
that that man got drafted in 2013 and he a rookie this year. Baseball works so slow. Bro. It Bro, just because a... you get drafted don't mean you're going straight there, dog. You got to put the work in. Man, that's a... You, that's you a... elevate as quickly as you earn it. Well, mm. and most. But that's why they, the, the baseball contract, even though they say baseball money, you get, you know, it's more, it's bigger, it's longer. It's just, it takes forever to get that contract. <laughs> you got to go through arbitration before you get there, too. And if you get cold, cold, then they'll give, give you the contract early. But then you're looking at Ronald Queen Jr. where you're like, damn, he kind of got screwed on his contract. That's the thing. Like, in baseball contracts are so weird because, like, by the time you hit free agency to get your big contract, like, you're already on the downslope. But these teams keep – Well, like, in your 30s is your prime in baseball. Yeah. I mean, how often do these you still, you still year three hundred and sixty-five million dollar contracts like work out? Like, look at at the end. Like, what are they doing? <laughs> I mean, a lot of these cats play until they thirty-seven, thirty-eight. <laughs> so, like, well, if they got that type of money. I mean, only like, like, like Ryan Braun, that like, type of money thirty-seven. Was like, it's not what he was when he signed that contract. Like, he may you may get like True. three good seasons, like at the money that you're paying him. And then by that back end of the contract, like by the end of it, that's service money for what you did before you got this right. contract to make you earn it in the first place. That's all. That's how I look at it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Uh, the AL Rookie of the Year was Kyle Lewis from the from the Mariners. So shout out to him. Yes, sir. Two Black Rookies of the Year. That's cold. <laughs> in baseball. Right. The NL Manager of the Year <laughs> went to the Marlins, uh, Don Mattingly. And then in the AL, it went to Kevin Cash of the Rays. Yeah, they definitely gave him that before. Congratulations, fellas. Right? So shout out to the award winners. And now, it's time to go to the radio. <laughs> okay. Niggas be like, listen to the right next they can see. <laughs> Man, his guy in the studio hyping him up too. Like that's cold, fam. That's perfect. That's cold. Your tone I is beautiful. The engineer in there. <laughs> yeah, you tell me, bro. <laughs> hey, the check. I was like, like, check <laughs> <later. I'm> like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, You know what? <laughs> I didn't get to hear this race story yet because the race finally happened between uh, Tim and Jake from Nerd World Order NWO Podcast and. I heard that my boy didn't take a L. That's all. I, I that's what I heard. I heard that it was dubbed Tim this way. Tim fans as hell. Why I'm wearing my shit, bro. That's <laughs> why I'm wearing my shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my shit off, bro. What? No, I'm just saying. That. So it was fun. How, how, how many races did y'all do? It was just one. We did two. How, how they? Got I don't it? know how much they put into number two. It looked like Jake put his all into it, but. We did two. What well, start start at the top? What happened? All right, so peep this. Mm-hmm. Got up on Saturday, right? I was like, shit, I got to stretch and shit, right? So we went up, we got to the track. Okay, not that hey, far. This is we don't need to go that far back. Right? You want me to start from the beginning, beginning, bro? I'm saying I just had to rewind you know, it back and you know, give it to you from the top. No, I woke up fresh. <laughs> <laughs> we got some oatmeal. <laughs> Notice the air was crisp. <laughs> Uh, pretty much they said it was just short of like a 40 or maybe it was a 40 I don't know how how far it was I didn't measure the actual yards that we ran but we went to uh, Brown Deer Track and it was just like like from the from the length of the bleachers but they had like the actual Track spots. Anyways, it was a nice little lift. Anyways, pause. Um, <laughs> uh, so, anyways, we get to the track and shit like that. You know, we pull up, give our highs, you know, your, our daps and whatever. You know what I'm saying? We got the mask on, COVID. Hey, how you doing? You know, we line up and shit. Only thing I'm nervous about is if I'm going to slip off the damn line. I'm like, all right, Eric Brother, about six foot eight. So I know he got these long ass strides and shit. I'm points. watching him warm up. My man's out here. He got his headphones on with the beats. He got the, the leggings on and shit. 
the bouncing leg. around in the gate doing leg swings and shit. He's get out in his stance, arm up in the air and shit. I'm like, ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, here we go. He came in jogging because I was standing on the track and I was the only thing I was working on was my takeoff because I was just worried if I ain't having a grip on the track. And I'm standing there working on my takeoff and I look. And this motherfucker come up jogging. I don't know where the fuck he came from jogging, but he didn't come off the street or some shit. He just came out the back way, some back parking lot that was gated off and shit. I'm like, who the fuck is this jogging? I told Sam, I'm like, watch that's Eric brother. <laughs> I was like, watch that's Eric brother. Here he come jogging. She was like, is that him? I was like, hell yeah, that was Eric brother. <laughs> I was like, I knew it. Like I said, he started getting the stretch on and shit. I was like, I ain't gonna pay no attention to this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I got my shit, you know, it's me. You know what I'm saying? Fam. Get to the race, fam. Right. <laughs> God. The worst story to, to wrap race. it up. Wrap it up, B. I mean, right. that's on Fox. Wrap it up. Jesus this Christ. nigga telling all kinds of... I don't need all that imagery. Just get to the race, fam. Y'all got to the line and what happened? <laughs> Don't he look good? Right. He didn't get to the race yet. So we had Ken. Been talking the, five minutes. <laughs> the march is set goes and shit. So... <laughs> He said, go. We take the fuck off of him with the pim 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 you know what I'm saying? I was out of there. I'm gone. Next thing I know, it was the finish line. All I know is two cats was behind me. I was like, damn, it's over already? <laughs> All I heard was Eric Brothers sh uh, shuffling behind me, bro. I heard, foof, foof, foof. I'm like, nope. Somebody's on my ass. I got to keep on going fast, fast, fast. I was gone. I was out of there. Next thing I know, it was over. I was like, damn. That was nice. That felt good. I was like, shit. It's like light work. <laughs> light work. Light work. Light work. That's, your thought process <laughs> is hilarious, fam. Your thought process is. You was talking about everything but the race. <laughs> <laughs> so who everything. came in? Who, who came in second? Uh, Eric brother came in second, and then mm. Jake. And I'm looking mm. at now. We got footage of this race. Mm. Mm -hmm. We have footage of race two as well. Yeah. So the nigga that was that was talking the most shit about the race came <laughs> <inside. laughs> Caught the biggest the whole promo. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted me to smoke. Smoke. A I whole blew that bitch away. Said, so said, <laughs> Damn. Blew the smoke away. Mm. <laughs> mm. So then Hey, oh, you know what? I ain't even like that. Tell me the race. So I was walking up the back, go ahead and restart. And next thing you know, you know, Jake and you know, Eric brother came back too. I was like, oh, they lining up again. I was like, oh. <laughs> so I wasn't sure. I thought I was just gonna raise the kids because the kids asked and I said I was cool with it. Neither one of them said yeah until like I think a little bit later behind. But I didn't I didn't hear them acknowledge the kids say yeah. But they did. They said something to the kids, of course. But um nigga, so then, we, yeah, got, we got oh, unofficial race number two. Do, nigga. <laughs> so race number two, take off, pew, pew, I slipped off the line. Eric brother actually had the lead in this one. That motherfucker was gone. I was like, nope, I gotta hit gear number four. Chick, 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 bang, we out of that bitch. I'm gone. Chick, bang. It took off, chick, bro. Chick, bang. <laughs> chick, chick, bang. It was like putting some nitrous in the motherfucking car. I was gone, bro. Hit the turbo. <laughs> Race number two. Tell him, I was like, hey, I appreciate y'all. That shit was fun. It was good. It was a nice workout. Hey, the, the older kid was pretty quick, too. He was like, he kept up. I think he almost, he, off, he damn bro. near beat Jake. <laughs> He damn near beat Jake. Cheap. I was like, come on, bro. Hey, he got his way. Mm, I hate to see it happen. <laughs> <laughs> you hate to see Listen, it. All I'm going to say is, Jake, fam, you for some reason wanted to take up Eric's crusade for some reason. <laughs> a crusade that was never asked to be taken. Matter of <laughs> fact, that's why his brother was out there because it's family <laughs> business, fam. Like, I don't know why you... <laughs> I don't, I don't understand why you walked yourself into this L, fam. It didn't have to happen this way. Um, <laughs> the um, moment you challenged my mans over here, I told you it was a bad idea. Don't do it. Oh, oh shit. And now you, and then you caught two L's, and one of them L's was possibly to a child, fam. It ain't even worth it, fam. Don't to be do fair, that. with the video footage, we'll be thankful that race one included Eric's brother and race two included the other kids. 
Because if it was just me and him, it wouldn't have been nobody else on the screen. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I can fix shit. Let's go. Let's go. Talk your shit. That's why the champ is here. <laughs> and just to be clear, like them did cut a promo after the race in Jake's face. Like it, he ain't just talking about <laughs> for the podcast. He, he was really about that life. It was too sweet, and the win was too sweet too. I told him that. That's my guy though. I fuck with him. That's my guys over there. Shout out to Nerd Ward Order. DX told me to wait out. Yeah, I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! If any other podcasters want to step up to the to, to the you know the slot, I got money. I'm not even got to be podcast like Tim. Tim take on anybody. See racing kids and shit. I can't think of another local podcaster that I think could uh, beat Tim in a foot race. I can't think of one. Nah, also gonna be they got friends race. though. Right, I'm not betting on friends. <laughs> <laughs> I know one person Tim don't want to smoke with though. Like who? Who? That's a uh. Did you say Demi? You say Demi. Mr. Olympic athlete, Mr. Wisconsin, fastest man in Wisconsin history and shit. Hey, let me go get my guy. <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> I like, hey, Olympic- listen, bro. I'll race him. <laughs> I ain't even like that. I'll race him. <laughs> they get uh, Olympic racers out from my boy over here, man. <laughs> All right, listen. I, I just want to see how fast I am now. I'm I'm old. Hey, hey we're going to move on. We're going to move two on, three. but I stand on what I said. <laughs> I stand on what I said. I put money on on Tim. That 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 man's fast. That man is quick. Especially why, old... I don't understand why people was coming to my defense. It's like I know Tim faster than me. Like <laughs> he played sports with me. I made, I made peace with that a long time ago. I'm not purported from a speed. I'm not slow, but I'm not fast. It's like that is why he had on flip flop plays and gentlemen. <laughs> That's what they the said. I was like that that kind of evens the the, the playing field. Uphill. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and be clear, I did win that race, so you know <laughs> I feel vindicated. Like I don't need nobody coming to my defense. <laughs> yes, you but won. I had this nigga throwing keys at me. You, <laughs> you won't be a disqualification. <laughs> Tim did not maintain those flip flops. That nigga was barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up my toe. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, the NBA and the Players Union they reached an agreement in principle on the start of the twenty twenty. 21 season, as well as an amended collective bargaining agreement. So the two sides announced this on Monday night. We got NBA season officially. That schedule that Eric threw out a couple weeks ago, it's pretty spot on. We got the draft on the 18th. Next week, free agency starts the 20th Mm. at 6 p.m. The 22nd, free agent signings can begin. Mm. December 1st, training camps open, mm. and then opening night will be December 22nd. Boy, you got a month to get your shit together. Yeah. Let's <laughs> stand. You got three weeks before training camp open. Three weeks. As, like I said, like the hardest part, not only these franchises, but these players have to make life decisions. Quickly. Quickly. In the middle of a pandemic. Yep. Or as, Damn. Uh, or as Gunner would say, in a panoramic. <laughs> it's gonna be so many damn trades for I feel like it's gonna be the wild wild west, bro. Cause this draft is pretty trash. So niggas is gonna try to move these picks left and right. Especially after Anthony Edwards bombed his. Like niggas like, nah, I'm kinda cool on him. <laughs> like uh, woo, woo. yeah, they might be flinging these draft picks left and right. Just just for some people to kind of that's cash trap and shit. Draft we might see those there. teams. Next Wednesday. Yeah. Yep. Free agency is on Friday. You sign your contract on Sunday. <laughs> That's crazy. That it's is wild, crazy. Damn. It's a wild shit. God damn. The salary cap should be the same this year. Well, will be the same this year as it was last year. So I think salary cap is at about one hundred nine. Uh, luxury tax is at about one thirty two. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so best case scenario there is not a massive. They did drop. make an amendment to the tax. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, I was just gonna say they did make an amendment to like the tax penalty though. So like it helps out the teams that were planning to be over the cap. So essentially they're gonna reduce the tax payment by however much they shortfall their projected income. So if it's like if they only make you know seventy percent of what they projected to make this year, then they only have to pay 30 per, or they get a 30% reduction on their tax payment. 
So that makes sense. It doesn't penalize teams that plan to be over the tax a certain amount, like, but now that their income has dropped, like they can't, you know, obviously can't make those payments. Right. So it, it basically it just helps out the teams that are going to be over the tax. Which makes sense. And then you do Which have health officials. They do. <laughs> uh, you got health officials who are expressing some concern about how to actually prepare players to get ready to play a 72 game season with training camp that, as we mentioned, is less than a month away. Especially those teams that haven't played since March and then those teams that had late runs into the playoffs that we just got done seeing wrap up. Are you, do you, are you personally more worried about the teams who haven't played in over eight months or those teams who had that late playoff run? The ones that had the late playoff run. <clears throat> Why those? Because in essence, you don't have that long of a layoff and you just have these crazy ass high intensity ass games. So with that short period of time, granted, yeah, they they may be a little more fatigued faster than these teams who haven't played in the last couple of months, but they'll have that chemistry if most of the teams keep because I think a lot of these teams are keeping their core that was just in the playoffs. So these teams will have this I guess bonding that they just had in the bubble on top of <clears throat> this playoff experience that they had and turn right around and start a season together. So they'll have like that type of chemistry off top. And I feel like that'd be a big advantage as opposed to the teams who haven't played in those. Like from a health standpoint, like I don't think anybody's really at much of a disadvantage. <clears throat> like they all got what, four months off in between like the shutdown and the restart. So they've gotten their, their summer as they normally would. They just, you know, like, and teams are going to low manage. Like, they're going to be more back-to-back than there have been in recent years. Like, the games are just going to be coming much more quicker. Um, so, like, they'll, they'll manage them within the season. But I don't think that – it's not like they're starting up the week after the finals. Like, they've had a month and a half – well, they'll ha- have had a month and a half off by the time training camp starts and by the time that the season starts. Like, it will already be, like, two months. So, which is what – uh one like a month and a half shorter than they would normally get but again they got the, the four months off previously so they should be okay like from a you know sports science standpoint yeah the teams that actually worry me the most are actually the ones who haven't played more so than anything because at least the other guys got a chance to get like some real competitive ball in Meanwhile, the other eight teams have been doing their own practice runs or whatever that is against whoever they can get games against. Meanwhile, these guys were playing playoff intensity basketball. Like, it's a long time to go without playing basketball at a competitive level that these eight teams had to go through. So I'm just interested to see how they come back as well. I saw a post on Facebook from the Attitude Era fans group. Hmm. and, And the question was, who had a better frog splash between Val Venus and D'Lo Brown? Between and I said, and that's a weird two to, to choose Yeah. when you're talking about the frog splash. So it just made me wonder, who do, you, who do y'all think has the best frog splash of all time? Wait, hold on. We, we need to define what a frog splash is. Cause Remember D'Lo. As far as I'm concerned. Mm-hmm. Val Venus like, didn't do no frog splash. splash. Like, he just had a regular splash. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. You're right. That's right. Yeah. <clears throat> so what they they tripping? D'Lo had a frog splash. Yeah, I actually they, they, went back and looked at his. I didn't realize how athletic his frog <coughs> splash was. He oh, actually yeah. would take his arms and swing all them the, through, <laughs> and then come all the way like back up. Yeah, and come all the way back up. Like that's very impressive. They used very to dunk nice. like that. Um, like Vince Carter. I don't know. Somebody used to like cock it all the way through their legs and then throw like full extension back over their did. heads. Like maybe Steve Francis who, too. Oh, yeah. Steve Francis did. It do was somebody like, yeah. But for me, when I hear Frog Splash, I think of Eddie Guerrero. Then I think yeah. of RVD. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dude from the Street Profit. Oh, Montez. Montez Ford. Ford. Mm. He be getting some air on his too. Man. He be getting some air on his. I'm like, dog, you might really hurt yourself. So you better chill. See, <laughs> RVD used to be. See, that's why RVD looks so cold because he was always jumping off high stuff. Like he was just out here, yeah. and then he sold it like how like he was like in pain, pain. Like 
That's how mm-hmm. I, I jumped. That's because most of the time the motherfucker was flying at you with a chair jumping on you. <laughs> yeah, you pay or throw, jumping th- uh, through a table, a uh, announcement table, a cage, a fucking uh, stage. Like, I really didn't give a fuck. Ladders. Yeah. That's why he was always hurt. Hell yeah. I'm, anytime I frog splash anybody, I'm hitting all this shit. I'm always going to be hurt. He had regular frog splashes where he did the exact same thing as if there was a chair laying down, man. That man was dramatic. <laughs> but nobody oh did God. it. Nobody did it like Eddie because Eddie kept his hands clasped the whole time through. Very, like... I feel like it's different from me. Like, Eddie did a crunch whereas the rest of them did, like, mm-hmm. a full sit-up. He did. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie was flexing on you. <clears throat> like, Eddie was just, like, real compact. Like, it's very difficult to every time make sure that you are putting your arms around your legs and coming back up with them, with your hands closed. Like, you can hit your, el- hit your knees, throw yourself off. At least I'm thinking of myself. I'm clumsy in that way. I'd probably end up falling, doing some weird splash on my back. MP3 may be in Phoenix before the show over. Who might be in Phoenix? Chris Paul. Oh, for real? It's moving that quick? They have engaged in trade talks. Oh, it's moving quick, quick. Okay. I see what you're getting. It's the same thing. Like now, you just have a, a article to go with it. Mm. Uh-huh. We'll see. <laughs> we'll get that. SEC college football. <laughs> it's not looking good over there. <clears throat> Our burn and MSU was postponed, as well as Alabama and LSU, as well as Texas A&M and Tennessee. Texas A&M had to pause practice on Monday. Kentucky and Vanderbilt's in danger of being postponed. And then with Florida and Arkansas, the head coach, they had a head coach who was out due to COVID. So numbers just ain't rough. great. We also just had one of the roughest COVID weeks in NFL and in, in NFL season as well, as cases around the country are just skyrocketing. So reminder people. Got fine. Yeah, fine bigly. <laughs> and was a draft pick. Yep. A six rounder, I believe. Yep. Then you got Notre Dame. <laughs> I wouldn't have even, like, I know that was a big game for y'all. Y'all was playing Clemson. Clemson's number one. Woo, 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 woo. I wasn't really checking for y'all. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. I turned to NBC to watch SNL because Dave Chappelle was coming on. Mm-hmm. And y'all was still on my TV screen. Mm-hmm. The audacity to have a great game when Dave Chappelle is about to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Double overtime. The, 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 how dare you? Anywho, Notre Dame ended up winning that game 47-40 in double overtime. And students just rushed the field. It was just a party on the field. The whole damn school was on the damn field. It's gross. With that being yeah, said. Oh, go ahead, Eric. Oh, I saw that picture and I just thought that Michael Jordan meme when he's like, and I that personally, like that was COVID <laughs> and shit. Like, <laughs> like, oh, y'all think this is a game? Like, oh, okay. Notre Notre Dame, they actually ordered COVID-19 testing for all students and said that students who fail to appear for testing or leave the area without the results will not be able to register for the spring semester or get a transcript. Hmm. Now, some might say that's too far. Well, I mean, if you protect the people, all you got to do is just take the damn test. (laughs) (laughs) Just take the damn test. I'm just saying. Why might... go through all the other shit? Just take the damn test. I hear you. I hear you. Tony LaRusa. Uh, oh, go ahead. This is, sorry, this is more a question for Tim because I don't think Camille, you follow him. But like um, Wisconsin, are they on track to finally come back and play? Or See, are they still? To play Michigan this weekend and they're talking about uh, what's the name could be coming back to the quarterback as well. Uh, it's been three weeks already? That's what I said. I was like, damn. <laughs> but yeah, they canceled two games. This week, week number three. I guess that is true. But you say that they, they are like they're clear at this yeah, point? they're tracking the play uh, Saturday. Okay. Tony LaRusso was arrested for a DUI right before he was hired as the White Sox manager. That's a bad sign and even worse. Pays to have friends in high places. <laughs> Nearly three years after his run-in with the police, Milwaukee Bucks guard Sterling Brown, he reached a settlement agreement with the city, $750,000. In addition to the money, 
Sterling said that he wants that settlement to include a joint statement from the city of Milwaukee that contains an admission of constitutional violation and a commitment to incorporate changes to the Milwaukee Police Department's standard operating procedures, which must be implemented within 180 days of the agreement. Hmm. He previously turned down a $400,000 offer from the city. He always said it wasn't about the money. He wanted something else to come of it. So if he gets him to sign on that uh, admission and, right, that, definitely. Mm. and the commitment to preparation changes 180 days who knows what those changes could be they could do something really minor minute and be yeah. like change but hey shout out to sterling for at least putting something into that to try to get something done there is <laughs> there are some new documentaries in the works apparently a Vince mcmahon multi-part documentary has been sold to netflix and Bill Simmons is the executive producer. Now, he is a big wrestling fan, so that's not too much of a surprise, but y'all interested in seeing that? A Vince story told by Bill Simmons? Yeah, when I heard this news, I was like, maybe Vince is about to make his exit. Nah, he just wants some money. <laughs> Fuck it, damn it, I'll give you some content. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm interested just from the fact that I feel like Vince doesn't do like the Vince McMahon story, um, like how truthful it will be. We'll see. Oh, um, it's gonna have that slant. But yeah, like, oh yeah, most definitely. That's what I say. Like how truthful? Because I know it's not gonna be a hundred percent. Um, but no, like Vince McMahon, like his whole life story is just fucking crazy like that would make it like just a good movie on its own but like getting the the documentary should be interesting and then for the producers of the last dance you got the stone cold steve austin documentary in the works as well definitely gonna catch that on the the facebook group where you're feeling that that many reactions on a post in years man (laughs) stone cold is he's that dude yeah that's gonna be I don't know how many parts Stunning Steve needs, but uh, hmm. Hmm. I think I think Stone Cold story can be done in two parts. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But maybe they can like blow it out into like the, the make it a five part, make it a whole Attitude Era kind of deal. Like that's I know WWE deal. is kind of like wrong everything they can from that, but. Having the outside perspective, I think, give it a different like flavor. Could be the case. Now, so transactions and personnel, in <laughs> <and> per- <laughs> man, and personnel moves, all NBA stuff. So Chauncey Billups and Larry Drew, they are looking like they're going to be assistant coaches on Ty Lue's staff with the Clippers. So that's tight. It's more black coaches, black coaches. And now we head to the rumor mill where apparently the Knicks and the Clippers are interested in Russell Westbrook and believe that he's gettable. Do y'all like Russ's fit in New York or in LA? I can see why New Just York. to be clear, like he's very gettable. Like <laughs> would give his ass well, depending on how James Harden feels, Houston would give his ass away because they don't want to pay that contract. No, they don't want that money. That's why I'm like, I see New York for sure, for sure. I can't see the Clippers though. As a fan of a of another contender, like I'm hoping for that because that's definitely not what they need <laughs> at all. Like at all. Bro. <laughs> uh, Although no. at least like Paul George and uh, Kawhi can shoot, so it's not like you're pairing him with other non shooters. Like if they just have like a five out type of system, everybody in Houston can shoot. Hey, and he was and he was succeeding. Yeah, he was succeeding until COVID came, and then he never got his legs underneath him properly during the NBA restart. And he also so, was option number two. Oh, but I'm just saying we cannot judge him solely. He wouldn't be. Yeah, he'd be number three on the Clippers. Right. So mm, I saw the way Paul George is playing. I'm, I'm still <laughs> during the regular season. Paul George is clear number two. I'm gonna let Paul George be my spot up shooter. <laughs> and let Russ. Yeah. Yeah. And let Russ create for him. Yeah, let Russ create. Yeah, I can see. 
And as uh, mentioned, like if I was Ty Lue, I wouldn't want to take that on. Like that'd be a like you already have like kind of a fractured locker room. Like introducing Russell Westbrook into that. Like by to be clear, by all accounts, like he seems like he's a great teammate. It's just like mm-hmm. dominant personality. It's wild over there, man. Very dominant personality. And as mentioned, Phoenix has discussed acquiring Chris Paul from from the Thunder. I never thought about Phoenix getting Chris Paul. Like I just didn't think about Neither. it. But Devin Booker. <laughs> It Needs. makes sense. <laughs> it actually makes sense. <laughs> he and they needs. probably have the assets. Yeah. I've, so people have been kind of kicking around for like the last couple of weeks. They're like, oh, Phoenix is a good destination because it would be like Rubio and Ubre. Mm-hmm. A package around them. And like they have other wings to replace Ubre, and then obviously Chris Paul would replace Rubio. And getting Ubre on the Thunder. Mm-hmm. That's a good move. It was also reported this week that Oklahoma City has apparently had conversations with Minnesota about number one. Really? I have no idea what they possibly give up. Actually, yes, I do. Shea. It would be Shea. Mm. Which, I mean, from Minnesota's standpoint, like, I would rather have Shea than any of the people that are at the top of this draft. Yeah. He's young enough Ooh. that he still fits on um, the timeline of Cat and D'Lo. But he also doesn't, like, I mean, he's a, he's a ball dominant guard, but he doesn't like dominate the ball on the level that like a Lamelo would. And he's actually proven that he can be a good NBA player. Oh fuck, athletic as shit. <laughs> he's a good player. Uh, I like Shay. It should be a, yeah. It's gonna be a, a wild ride to the start of the NBA season. I'm curious to see what happens. I do want to say that I wouldn't be surprised if Giannis does sign a supermax when that's available. I'd be happy so we could put this shit to bed, bro. It'd be nice. It'd be nice, but I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Like, seems like it'd be on brand. And it seems like all the reporting is, like, more so wishful thinking than anything that's concrete. Like, nobody is actually saying, like, he's unhappy. It's all, like, speculation. Like, well, you know, all these other stars have left when they had the opportunity to. Mm-hmm. So it's like, first of all, what, what players have left a contender aside from Kawhi, who made it clear he wasn't resigning there when he got – traded there like yeah. what other what other player has left a contender like to go somewhere else at this juncture in their career like like comparing him to anthony davis or paul george is KD? not a one-to-one kd it's not a one-to-one although i guess kd like KD's probably not, the closest but kd was just tired of what russ it seems like <laughs> <laughs> there's that does anyone have a blow the whistle this week? I do not. No, but I do have a shout out. Shout out to uh, Ryan in six on Twitter for my uh, my hoodie this week. He did like a, a project where he imagined what a WNBA team would look like in the in Milwaukee. So it's the Milwaukee Doves. I mean, uh-huh. the podcast can't see, but you go to the YouTube, see our video. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's cool. And shout out to Young Black and Opinionated Podcast. I'm repping a sweatshirt uh, this episode. All right, let's get into the Tech Top 5 then. Last week's Tech Top 5 was the ugliest shooting forms. Eric, you won that li- that, that week, so congrats, sir. Oh. This week was inspired by a tweet that I saw. Missy Elliott retweeted, or just tweeted, a video of a... Uh, Hot Boys and said this song has just turned 21. Like this song is 21 years old. And I was like, dang. And someone else retweeted it and said, this song can drink now. Like this song is old enough to drink. So our tech top five this week is going to be songs old enough to drink. So pretty much that just means songs that came out in 99. Just, yeah, they, they still sound good. So songs that can drink. Tim, would you kick us off, please? Yes, ma'am. Uh, strong thing. So, number five, I was clearing off my list to make sure I had all my right. in my row. Um, it ain't even lining up the way it's put. Mother scrunchy. Anyway, number five, I got uh, Sweet Lady by Tyrese. Okay. That was one of my favorite songs. That shit was ugly shit. First the song I learned how to sing. Um, I think they came out in 98, four. but... Uh... I'm gonna let you have it. Was, it. it was on the charts in 99. Hey, yeah, I'm, I was, it was I'm, on the 99 hey, charts. I'm just saying. <laughs> The song, uh, the song ain't turned 21. I'm just saying, that song 22. Didn't you say? Okay. <laughs> 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 it 
Uh, number four, I got next episode, Dr. J. Uh, oh, no, I'm thinking about something else. Number three, one of my personal favorites is uh, Beauty by Drew Hill. Okay. Are number you sure two, this came out of 99? Another person. Bro, you saw, you said we said the ninety nine was on radio on ninety nine. Ain't that what you said? I said songs that turned twenty one came you out said in on the radio in ninety nine. No, I was making a comment that the radio was fire in ninety nine. <laughs> this is part of that radio list. <laughs> this is part of that radio list. I, that's not what. All right, you can do your googles. That's not what I said though. <laughs> it's My list not is still eligible. Mm mm. You got some, you got some it's flagrants eligible, on bro. here, fam. You got some flagrants on here. Anyways, number two. <laughs> number two, I got So Anxious by Gene One. That was my shit. That came out in 99. That checks out. And number one, I got back that ass up from 99 to the 2000s. Came out in 98, but. God dang it. Hey. Was on the radio on 99. Oh, so I that's how we doing. I guess that's I'm, how we're doing. I'm have to, I, right. I, was saying, I thought we all had the same understanding. Camille out here trying to hit technicalities at the last minute and stuff. I literally, I literally said songs that turn 21. How can a song turn 21 if it came out in 98, regardless if it was on the chart? I heard you system about songs in 1999. Fam, it don't even matter. Eric, go ahead. I was under the same impression as him. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, looking, I'm, look, I'm looking at y'all list, all of y'all worse. That's why I'm like, just go ahead. <laughs> I'll just have to change mine up. Um, let's see. So five. Let me go with vibrant thing from Q. That's my shit, yo. Vibrant thing from uh uh. Yes. Uh, four. Mm. That was my shit. I'm gonna play that after we play. Meeting in my bedroom. <laughs> that was so bad. Bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. Uh, three, I'm going to go with No Scrubs, TLC. Two, I'm going go with My Name Is. Then it made, uh... <laughs> Two, I'm going to go with My Name Is by Eminem. And one, back that ass up. Juvenile. All right. Um... Number five, I am going to go with Casey and JoJo Life. Number four, you. number four, I'm going to go with Dr. Dre and Eminem Forgot About Dre. Number two, I'm going with The Roots and Erica Badu, You Got Me. Number two, I'm going with Maxwell Fortunate. And number one, I'm going with Juvenile, uh, Back That Ass Up. I didn't realize it was number one on the billboards for the end of 99. I was like, dude, for the year? I didn't realize it was that big. You said you didn't realize what was? Fortunate. It was the end of the, uh, it was in the year, number one, for 99 billboard charts. I was like, oh, I didn't realize it was that damn big. It was a hit. Twice. All right, so my five is um, Nookie by Limp Bizkit. <laughs> oh. Um. Four. Vibrant thing. Mm-hmm. Um, number three, forgot about Dre. Um, number two, X Factor. Mm-hmm. And um, number one, of course, back that. Back that. And there you have it. There you have it. It's Tech Time 5 for the week. Make sure you mm-hmm. drop on our social media, which list you think is best once you see that post go up. Y'all determine who wins the poll, so very important for y'all to vote let us know what songs would be on your list and we're gonna get up out of here if you want to follow me on social media you can catch me wait a minute on twitter instagram and psn at camille monet c-a-m-i-l-l-e-m-o-n-a-e because i'm fancy thank you sir uh at bug on twitter that's all you get yeah damn right um, everyday underscore gentleman on Instagram, uh, K Harris two sixteen on Twitter and Snapchat. And it's your boy, T I M K I N Z 
three, aka ass catching, aka Mr. Give It To Me. I'm gone. <laughs> Hi, y'all.